हेलो माय नेम इज शबाना रहमान आई एम ए ब्यूरो चीफ ऑफ अद्भुत मीडिया यूएसए ऑनलाइन न्यूज़पेपर एंड न्यूज़ चैनल एंड टुडे वी आर हियर प्रिविलेज अनफ टू हैव अमंग अस मिस नीता भूषण हु इज़ द कंसल जनरल ऑफ इंडिया शिकागो एंड वी आर हियर टू शेयर हर एक्सपीरियंस सो फार एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई लाइक टू कंग्रेचुलेट यू फॉर कम्प्लीटिंग वन ईयर इन शिकागो एंड माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू उड बी हाउ हैव यू बीन योर एक्सपीरियंस सो फार थैंक यू शबाना जी एंड थैंक यू टू अद्भुत मीडिया आई आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू बी हियर एंड टॉक टू यू एंड शेयर माई व्यूज़ एंड एक्सपीरियंसिस विथ योर ऑडियंस दिस इज़ अ ग्रेट आइडिया एंड अपॉर्चुनिटी एज फार एज माई एक्सपीरियंसिस आर कंसर्न यू नो दैट आई केम हियर लास्ट ईयर एंड आई हैव रिसेंटली कम्प्लीटेड वन ईयर सो इन द लास्ट वन ईयर माई एफर्ट वॉज टू ट्रैवल टू ऑल द स्टेट्स दैट आर कवर्ड बाई द शिकागो काउंसुलेट in the us midwest and meet all uh, you know the governors mayors presidents of universities students uh, community members ceos of businesses and so on and uh, through my interactions i have found that there is immense goodwill for india and indians here in the midwest in the entire us but in the midwest it is very special this is the heart of us and uh, wherever i have gone i have seen that uh, people love india they love uh, indian culture indian food and they love the idea of uh, you know india doing business with india so my effort is to capitalize on this goodwill for india and in contribute in my own small way to making better relations between india and the us overall i just want to repeat that it has been an excellent uh, amazing wonderful experience so far and uh, it is it's uh, i'm really uh, happy and i think i am really lucky to get the love and support of all community members and uh, in american friends and so on in this contest i would say that this pleasure is all ours and we feel more privileged than her to have her among us uh, so going forward my next question to you would be what are your major challenges and concerns going forward or till now uh so you know here in the consulate uh, we provide a number of services on a daily basis in fact uh, over 500 services whether you take passport visa or consular services and my uh, main challenge was to provide these services in the most efficient and speedy manner so i put in place a few things like uh, a telephone uh, you know operator who answered calls and queries from applicants from morning till evening 9 to 5:30 and uh, we also put emergency helpline so in case somebody was in a distress situation after office hours also we reached out to them and uh, we have tried to make the consulate very open and approachable in fact uh, we give special service to senior citizens who come uh, for life certificates etc and we try to make the waiting time as short as possible like maybe 10 15 minutes uh, you know in a day so our effort has been to meet these challenges in a very uh, proactive manner and to ensure that uh, consulate provides the services that people are looking for in a manner that is befitting for us for the country that's really a commendable effort and i know that everybody would agree to that that the way the things have been speeding up we have been seeing results it is an enormous effort and a great results uh, going forward the new theme of kala utsav is focusing on values of life could you tell us in some more detail about it Uh, yes kala utsav is uh, an event that we have been holding every year this year we try to give it a little bit of a different uh, twist and we are uh, having a theme called khul ja simsim and in this we will unlock the ancient uh, traditional values of india whether it is peace universal brotherhood courage 
equality, forgiveness. So each item will focus on one of the values which are so deeply rooted in us Indians. So Kala Utsav is going to be different and uh, we are doing it at Harris Theatre which is in downtown. It is, it is a very big theatre. We are collaborating with them and it is located right near the Millennium Park. So the location is very good and we hope to have about 1,000 1500 at least people it is a hall that can take 2000 people and it is going to be on 21st july sunday so i would like uh, to invite your audience as well and i hope that all of us all of you will join us for this event and i can assure you that it will be a one event of its kind and that you will not be disappointed so um, do come and join us it will be something very different and unique about India, my country. That's really an exciting news for us. For everybody in Chicago, we have been witnessing um, the program for Kala Utsav year after year. But as this time, whatever uh, Madam uh, revealed her ideas, it should, sounds really exciting. And definitely nobody should uh, lose this opportunity to come and witness this great event. Uh, Madam, going forward, I have seen your, everybody has witnessed your active involvement in recent hate crimes, how you have been visited the families and shown your concern and uh, you and try to uh, do we need to focus uh, more on outreach and awareness uh, actually uh, Shabana to be honest with you these were not really hate crimes uh, when we investigated uh, the matter further and of course we were in touch with the local police authorities uh, one of the cases was of uh, accidental sort of shooting or uh, Muhammad Akbar was caught in some kind of a crossfire though I don't have the entire details mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think it was a hate crime and the second incident uh, was a case of armed robbery and the robbers have been caught as well but uh, having said that it is important for uh, all the members of the community and everybody to be safe like be aware of the surroundings be mindful of where you are and follow the directions of uh, Chicago police and you know try to uh, not go to places where there is supposed to to be you know uh, incidents of shooting if you can help it so we have to take care of our own safety that helps the police as well to uh, uh, help us so i would request everyone to be very mindful of where they are at any time you know not uh, travel at night to uh, some areas um, where uh, you know where as advised by the police of chicago so i think we need to be very very uh, mindful of our our surroundings. Uh, that uh, really clarifies us that uh, what we were reading in media or word of mouth, everybody is, is not talking about hate crime. It was not so, as Madam clarifies. And definitely what she points out is prevention is better than cure. So if we prevent, take the right type of prevention, we could avoid these instances in future too. Um, that was a quite uh, about the work. Now I would like to know, since you attend so many community events and everybody loves you to be there, how do you manage it with your work? life and with your family life balancing what motivates you to engrace that uh, events any pr program with your presence what is your motivation behind it so shabana what hap happens is that uh, the job is my passion it is not a job for me i have been in this service for uh, more than 23 years and uh, I will complete 24 years shortly in the service and for me representing my country is such a great honor and privilege and I for me it's a passion to uh, you know support the community be at events encourage people and I get so much uh, love and affection from uh, you all as well so it helps me to move forward and do more of course balancing with family life is not easy 
but uh, I have uh, luckily a very supportive family and uh, they are there for me they understand my job I have two children so that helps as well having a very supportive uh, family and I have the support of my staff here in the consulate who are uh, you know ready to work uh, you know go anywhere do anything whatever I say so it helps a lot thank you so as you mentioned that you really have a supportive family and I'm sure that everybody likes you so much and want to know more about you. Can you tell us something more about your family, where they are and how they are doing? Yes, my husband is also a diplomat and now he's posted in Delhi. He is Joint Secretary looking after ASEAN relations, multilateral relations of India with ASEAN. So he's also holding a very important job and I, uh, you know, he lives there. But uh, he, we visit, uh, he visits here and I visit India sometimes. And I have two children. Uh, luckily for me, both are here with me. My daughter goes to high school here and my son is a freshman at University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign so he's also close by and that help gives me a lot of strength to be with my children here in Illinois that's really nice to know that how madam is uh, balancing her work life among the children and it's good to have a supportive children along with her uh, so I know you are very busy you have a passion still everybody has some type of hobbies we'd like to know what you like to do during your spare time or you get some time for yourself what are your hobbies uh, yes I like to uh, listen to music a lot I'm very fond of music whatever little time I get I like to do that I also like to play uh, piano or keyboard sometimes like I'm very uh, I'm a beginner <laughs> so but I do like to take some time for that and then uh, I like to watch movies as and when I get time of course when I don't have much time but whenever I do get a chance I love to watch some movies so Miss Nitaji now would like to know about some of the upcoming events specifically we are very curious about uh, some new event that is coming up especially for you Ikati if you could speak something about it uh, yes uh, thank you for uh, asking this question because this year we are going to do yoga day in a very big way uh, we are partnering with the city of Chicago uh, with the sister cities committee between you know Delhi and Chicago our sister cities and we have taken we are collaborating with them and what we are going to do is that uh, we are going to have our yoga day on 16th June at the Millennium Park S yes so Millennium Park is you you know the iconic structure in Chicago yes. and uh, in the middle of summer there are many visitors there are a lot of tourists coming here and we wanted to do yoga day in the heart of Chicago and uh, thankfully for us uh, mm -hmm. uh, the office of mayor was so supportive and they uh, agreed to collaborate with us and so we will be starting around 11 o'clock and it will go on for two two and a half hours at least and we uh, want to invite everyone because yoga is something that is known to help in building a balance between mind and body and these are ancient Indian techniques but they are proven to help people achieve much better balance and less stress in their lives so I would encourage everybody to come and participate in this uh, yoga day and as in a few uh, days we will be releasing the flyer and uh, you know we would be giving more details of the event so please do join us for that in addition to that uh, we have uh, some upcoming events on the commercial side we have events for uh, trade promotion and make in India so this first event is tomorrow on March 7th and uh, where we are going to showcase the new investment opportunities and the ease of doing business in India. Uh, we are partnering with uh, Thai Midwest and uh, we will be having a panel discussion as well. And our second event is in collaboration with the Illinois Chamber of Commerce. That is on uh, 28th March and it is also focused at bringing the business groups together um, and, uh, you know, networking about India, giving more information uh, about India and uh, helping people understand the new 
you know business environment in india and um, there are many companies which are already there in india so some of them will be sharing their experiences as you know chicago land is uh, home to a number of fortune 500 companies and i am amazed that all of them are uh, uh, either present in india or they're looking to go to india so there are a lot of opportunities here and we want to uh, in our own way tap that potential and uh, take uh, more and more people to india so again ms nita ji has shared us a uh, great news about commercial part how it's going to show lots of business opportunities and open doors for that i would like to know how can chicago land help you to uh, achieve this vision of yours as a community leaders or as a organization what should be our part in helping you to reach your vision actually shabana ji uh, chicago land area is very vibrant and very dynamic there are so many companies located here uh, it has the perfect uh, i would say infrastructure for many companies to come and uh, set up their bases here the, there's a lot of companies which are involved in startups that is also happening so this is uh, a perfect place to Mm, promote uh, business ties between india and chicago and uh, india and the us and so our effort is to also tell about chicago to our indian investors and uh, indian uh, uh, importers who are sourcing material from us and other places so we try to do both you know disseminate information about chicago to our indian uh, importers and uh, also vice versa those who want to uh, come here or those who want to go to india so we are doing both and a number of indian companies are located in the chicago land area they are contributing to the us economy in a very nice way they have hired they have uh, you know a lot of uh, Uh, talented people working for them so uh, chicago land is i think one of the best places for promoting business for promoting academic and cultural ties uh, as you know the chicago is famous for swami vivekananda's uh, speech that was uh, given to the world parliament of religions in 1893 so uh, it is a very uh, sacred place as well for us indians uh, and art institute of chicago is located right here where we have a plaque and there is a road also named after swami vivekanand uh, so even spiritually and culturally it's a very vibrant place so i think uh, there are a lot of opportunities here and we are looking to work together with uh, the community members with our american friends to promote our ties in every possible way it is home to many universities for example a number of important universities are located here the presidents and the uh, academicians uh, we are in touch with them and many of them uh, invite me to speak about india to their students there is so much of curiosity about india so uh, this is a place where a lot can be done and i'm uh, making a small effort to do my best and uh, increase our outreach thank you so definitely after hearing this we cannot say it is a small effort it is a big effort that's uh, changing the look of chicago and day by day we don't realize but a day will come we'll look back and see how much your contribution was there to shape it in a better way uh, this was about the chicago i would like to know how do you see india in 10 years we have seen the progress gradually going on but what are your visions how do you portray india in 10 years as you know india is among the fastest growing economies in the world at the moment so i think that we have a very bright future in the next 10 years the indian economy will really cross all limits and the rate at which india is developing is also something to be looked at we are creating a number of infrastructure projects ports power plants uh, roads airports so you will see a new india definitely our honorable prime minister has launched a vision of a new india uh by 2022 that is 5 years from now and he often uh, he says that we are aiming for an india which is free of corruption which is free of any kind of extremism where there will be is equality between various uh, religions various uh, uh, issues gender equality and that 
a country which is free from any discrimination. So we are all working hard towards making a very strong, secular uh, India and preserving our values of democracy democracy, freedom, equality. And so I am uh, very, uh, you know, privileged, I think, in the next 10 years that we will see a really new India, much more developed, much uh, more poised to take its place in the world stage. That's so good to hear. And when we imagine a new India, everybody has this dream. Nobody can deny either we live in India or we live here. We all want to see a new India and a great change it. And I would say it is a contribution of not all the diplomats. It's a contribution of each and every individual. At the end, I would like to know what is the message for the community that you want to give here? Um, any that of your message that we can take up and show some improvement? So my message will be that uh, the community members are already doing such a fantastic job. Uh, as I say, wherever I go, I am treated with uh, so much love, affection, that it is really heartwarming. Uh, community members are also uh, acting as, you know, uh, bridges between India, people of India and the United States. So I would say that please continue with this good work and uh, support the consulate because we are there for you and uh, I would like to invite you to all our programs and you know if there is any issue please feel free to come to us so my message is very small and short and it is that uh, be with us support us and we will work towards making a new India a stronger India US partnership thank you Thank you so much for sharing your ideas with us. Definitely, we all should take up this as a challenge for ourselves as well as to think that each one of us can contribute to make it a better India and a better vision in Chicago too. Thank you so much. I really, thanks is not enough, uh, enough word to say you how much you have contributed to the community and we really look forward to see you in our events. We enjoy seeing with you, taking pictures with you and enjoying the events that we put up. We'll be looking forward to work with you in the future too. Thank you so much. Thank you.